This is what Kelly Drive looked like yesterday morning when the Schuylkill overflowed its banks. Well, this morning, storm may be over and gone, but we're still feeling the after effects. Yeah, so part of the typically busy roadway still closed, but now that the water has receded, right now the task is underway for cleaning up that muddy, mucky mess. CBS News Philadelphia, Sarah Monroe, live in East Falls. You were there yesterday, Howard. Big improvement, uh, but they still have a lot of work underway. Oh, yeah, it's a big improvement for sure. You know, just right on time, we had some workers show up at about 7 o'clock this morning to make sure that they can reopen Kelly Drive. Now, later on this morning, they have to clear all the muck that is in that roadway. They were supposed to be here at 7 o'clock. They showed up at 7 o'clock, and they are now getting themselves ready to clear out the roadway that, that you can see here. This is uh, folks who are from the streets department who will be doing this work. Earlier on this morning, we also have folks from the water department making sure that all the, uh, the drainage systems that they were clear say whatever they do have to clear out is now can actually get into the drainage system and also into the sewer pipes not create another flood uh, on top of that you can see here in the roadway now you do have about an inch or so of sludge and mud and other debris that is left behind from those flood waters uh, that came in through yesterday but overall I mean it's looking pretty good compared to what uh, we had yesterday morning. They just need to make sure that the roadway is clear from all the debris and also make sure that the roadway has not been compromised uh, at all. We do not have a timing on when exactly the roadway will reopen, but we do expect this to happen some point later on uh, this morning or perhaps this afternoon so folks uh, can get uh, on their way. We are told, however, from someone in the water department that all of the water on Kelly Drive has now been drained. That's from here all the way over down to uh, Honey Park Avenue. So that's the good news, folks. Uh, Kelly Drive may reopen sooner rather than later. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. That's good to know. Thank you, Howard. Appreciate it. Well, water from the Delaware River flooded areas in Penns Grove. A pumping station there lost power during Tuesday night storms. Now residents will be navigating high waters until the power there is restored. We found one homeowner who was suited and booted in fisherman waders just to leave his house for a grocery run. Well, the wind was blowing very hard. Branches were flying off of trees, and one of the branches fell across a power line. Because the power went out, the pumps could not take the water and pump it to the river, and the river was flooding over the banks anyway. Well, the borough says it's waiting for Atlantic City Electric to restore power before it can get the pump back up and running. And cleanup continues this morning for people in Bucks County. Gary Morin of Langhorn says he spent the night watching the flooded Neshaminy Creek come closer and closer to his back fence. In his 25 years on Periwinkle Avenue, Morin watched frequent flooding drive away his neighbors. There's only five houses back there now. Used to be, what, 30, 40 houses back there. I just moved stuff out of my garage and my mowers, and I got machinery here. I'll drive that up front across the street and park it in the grass, and it seems to do the trick. Gary's got his plan for flooding times. Residents there say they're keeping an eye on the storm that's forecast to move in tomorrow night.